China has begun production of the world's first electric vehicle, known as EV, with a solid-state sodium battery. Since 1991, the lithium-ion battery has revolutionized battery use. However, it presents several setbacks. It is expensive, its components are scarce and harmful to the environment. Its performance is inefficient in extreme climates and, occasionally, it can catch fire. Therefore, scientists and corporations are seeking superior alternatives. The solid-state sodium battery emerges as one of these promising solutions. The Chinese company Dongfeng has ambitious plans. It intends to produce electric cars using sodium batteries instead of lithium ones. Sodium, more accessible and durable, is the key element. But what will be the impact of these new vehicles? What changes will sodium batteries bring? These are questions to be explored. The NAMI model, whose name derives from nanometer in Mandarin with an additional M, symbolizes a focus on design and quality. Dongfeng aims to produce compact electric vehicles. This reflects growing environmental concerns and urban life. They claim that the NAMI EVs will utilize an innovative electric architecture, although other Chinese state-owned companies, such as Sayuk and FAW, already possess similar technologies. Perhaps, the focus is more on attracting the public than on technological innovation. Dongfeng's goal is to make electric cars accessible to everyone. This is a significant milestone in the automotive industry. The car, when completed, will feature 17-inch wheels and a large 12-inch touchscreen. Advancements in solid-state batteries Currently, some batteries resemble solid ones, but are not entirely so. Dongfeng promises a true solid-state sodium battery in a few months, at an affordable cost. This is remarkable, as new technologies are usually expensive. Little is known about this battery, but according to Sandy Monroe, a Tesla and electric vehicle expert, it will transform the sector. He believes that, with its production, the current technology in fossil fuels will have no comparison. According to CarnWSChina.com, Dongfeng launched the NAMI brand, focused on compact electric vehicles with solid-state sodium batteries. The goal is to sell 400,000 units annually. It will be the first EV with a solid-state battery, standing out even more for using sodium. The NAMI's front engine has 163 horsepower. Sources indicate that it adds 200 kilometers of range with just 8 minutes of charge. Increasing the range by 200 kilometers so quickly is impressive. Although it's not the revolution expected in solid-state batteries, it's a promising start. The solid-state batteries used by NAMI are significant advancements for EVs. They offer higher energy density, faster charging, and increased safety, thanks to this solid electrolyte. Many consider them the pinnacle for EVs, resolving issues like limited range and long charging times. Moreover, they are less prone to fires than lithium-ion batteries. Safety in Electric Vehicles There is a growing debate about the safety of electric vehicles. Many are concerned with reports of fires and explosions caused by battery failures. However, it is vital to recognize that many of these reports are exaggerated or distorted. Compared to conventional gasoline or diesel vehicles, electric ones are not riskier. Under extreme conditions, lithium-ion batteries can chemically react if overheated or overcharged. This can generate gas and heat, potentially causing fire or explosion. However, this does not make EVs inherently dangerous. Research confirms that these vehicles do not have a higher tendency to fires than traditional cars. A 2018 study by the United States National Highway Traffic Safety Administration showed only 0.1 fires per billion miles in electrics, compared to 0.2 in gasoline cars. Similarly, the United Kingdom's Department of Transport in 2019 found 0.6 fires per thousand electrics, against 1.8 in gasoline cars. These statistics indicate that electrics are, in fact, safer against fires than gasoline vehicles. The innovation in solid-state batteries reinforces this safety. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries do not use liquid electrolytes, which can leak or catch fire. They are made from solid, stable, and durable materials, making them non-flammable. 
Dongfang, by adopting this technology in the NAMI vehicle, demonstrates leadership and innovation in the electric market. Dongfang NAMI has outlined ambitious plans for 2023 to 2025. They intend to launch their first model by the end of 2023, marking their imminent entry into the market. In 2024, they plan to expand the product line with one or two new models. By 2025, NAMI hopes to release two more models, strengthening its presence in the domestic market. Innovations of the NAMI 01 At a special launch event, NAMI unveiled its newest model, the NAMI 01. Scheduled to hit the market at the end of 2023, this compact electric hatchback sparked interest. Compared online to the Smart Number 1, it generated debates about similarities and originality. Despite some design commonalities, the NAMI 01 displays its unique exterior aesthetic. It shares elements with the Smart Number 1 but differentiates with exclusive headlights and taillights. Its retractable door handles and floating roof not only beautify the vehicle but also improve its aerodynamics. The exact dimensions have yet to be announced. The interior is modern and tech-forward. The floating infotainment center screen with various features stands out. The two-spoke steering wheel gives the cockpit a futuristic feel. There's a small LCD panel for driving information and the gear shift lever ergonomically positioned behind the steering wheel. The attention to comfort is evident in the synthetic leather details and the wireless phone charger. It's important to note that the final model may have different materials, as this is a pre-production version. The electric platform represents a significant advancement. It supports level 2 driving assistance features, such as automatic emergency braking and automatic parking. The car's single electric motor provides 163 horsepower. The major innovation is the solid-state sodium battery, capable of recharging 200 kilometers in 8 minutes. The battery also allows external discharge, useful in various situations, like camping or emergencies. NAMI has not released all the technical details of the battery. The parent company, Dongfang, tested a similar battery, with 137 watt-hours per kilogram, from Gongfeng Lithium. It's not confirmed if this will be the same in the NAMI 01. The battery promises 86% efficiency and longevity. A strong point of sodium ion batteries is their performance in cold climates. Large companies are adopting this technology due to its cost effectiveness. However, they face challenges in energy density and efficiency. Scientists are working to improve these issues. Sodium ion batteries may replace lithium iron phosphate in certain applications. However, various types of lithium batteries will continue to be important in the electric vehicle market. The evolution of battery technology will be gradual. Sodium batteries are promising, but there is still much to explore. So, what do you think about this innovative battery? Comment below and don't forget to see what others are commenting too.